What's going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Edge Animate. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a basic website. This is something a lot of people have asked me before and it's really for people who are just getting started with web design and just want to create a very simple website for themselves so they could show off some of their work. So I'm going to go File New, I'm going to go File Import and I'm going to select the Adobe Easy Web Banner. Now you can see the width over here is 890 so I'm going to select the stage and I'm going to make the width 890. Now that we have the banner set, I'm just going to extend the height a bit. So the next thing we're going to do is create a navigation bar. And this is something you would want right underneath the banner. It's a good place. Actually, Google recognizes this as a hot spot. So I'm going to come over here and create myself my first button. So the fill color over here is set to none. That means it's a solid. I'm going to keep that as a gradient. So setting gradient in Adobe Edge Anime is a little bit different than what you're used to, say, like Photoshop. As you see here, I'm just messing around with the colors. Now I'm going to take this button and convert it to a symbol and let's call this button 1. Double click on the button and I'm going to set some text over here. So I come back over here, that's my Premiere Pro button and you want to give this an action. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have this center area over here is going to have information. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to open actions, I'm going to select click, I'm going to select play. And then in quotations, I'm going to put page one in quotations. Now I'm going to come over here to the stage, control L, create myself a label, and let's set it to page one. So let me go over that one more time. Open the actions for the button. I set play for page one, and I have a label on the timeline as page one. So that's what's going on here. I told the button what to do. It's going to play over here. Now what happens when it plays over here, I need to stop. So we're going to put a trigger, control T, or command T if you're on a Mac. Put a stop trigger there. So now what happens is it plays, it stops over here. We're going to create more labels. Page 2, another label, control L, page 3, another label, page 4, and another label over here. Control L, page five. So we're gonna have five pages, it's a basic website. Again, Control T, and we're gonna press stop. Over here, Control T, stop. Continue to do this for each one. So let's create some information for our pages. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I wanna show you guys that you could duplicate the elements of the page and that will save you some time. So let's just say this is the area for your information. Convert to symbol and call it page one. Double click on it. I'm gonna put some text here and call it page one. Now what we can do is right click on this page, select duplicate, page two, duplicate, page three, Four, page five. So now we have five pages. For page one, since we're in the beginning of the timeline on page one, select on. Right after page one, you can turn it off. It appears on and it will shut off after page two. So we're going to bring the marker over to page two and select the page two page. 164 and 247 is the location. And this is for some consistency. That's what you want when you bring these pages out. Page two. Again, we're going to set this for on. After page two, select off. Page one, page two. That's the way it's supposed to work. Page three, we're going to do the same thing. Double click on it. Set the keyframe for on. You notice where I am over here, the label is right after it. Select off, go to page four. Select 
select on. After page four, select off. Double click on the rectangle. Select page four. Go to page five, do the same thing. Now for the buttons, when I hover over the cursor, I want to change to a pointer. So select pointer over here, and that will change all the buttons. Let's press Control Enter to test this. That's page one, page two, page three, page four, and page five. And the buttons work. So now that we tested the page and it works, we want to publish this to our website. Go File, Save As. This is just where I'm saving the tutorial, and I'm going to call this tutorial. I'm going to go to File, Publish Settings. We're going to select the folder that I want to save it to. This time it's going to be my website and I'm going to select publish. I select the website folder and this includes all the assets for the project. Now over here is the tutorial.html. That is the actual web page that holds this project. And if I select over here, these are the images that I used. It was only a web banner. And then you have your JavaScript files. So what you want to do is take all these files, upload them to your website. And this is the file that you would want to use. So you have your domain name forward slash tutorial.html and that's what you get on your website. Now this is very much an intro tutorial but this gives you a good idea of how to create your first website in Adobe Edge Animate. If you liked it give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.